Alright, today I'm going to try and get some of the yellow off of the tidal strip area. If you can see here, you can see the brown color. Some of it's darker. And this, this is uh, kind of interesting. This is where they had tidal strips as a lighter color brown. And then you can see where they had tidal strips removed for many years. It turned it darker brown like the, the edge piece here. Uh, what's interesting is uh, there's like a piece of tape, like uh, scotch tape with numbers on it, is where the this is. So that part is actually lighter still because somehow the scotch tape blocked the UV light that was coming down from above. So that's the uh, the front side of it. This is the back side. You can see how dark it is, but like there's the color of tan that it should be and uh, see how dark this is I mean this is just uh, uniformly very very brown when it used to be a almost an off-white color so it's time to take this out um, these pivot up in here on this rod and uh, unscrew on this side I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave uh, leave it in I'm not sure We'll see if I can easily take it out. Well, like most everything else on uh, the Seabird jukebox, um, it's held in by two quarter inch hex head screws. And once you take these two screws out, this piece uh, simply slides out. And it is now easily removed. Alright, so I've got this sitting on top of my kitchen sink. It fits in there actually quite well. Um, I wanted to see if the brown is from the tar and nicotine stains from years of being in a bar or this is actually the change in the plastic due to the uh, UV lighting so I'm going to magic eraser and some water and if this is tar and nicotine it comes right off and you would see this very brown right now so this is not due to uh, tobacco use. This is true yellowing of the plastic itself. Alright, when I researched how to de-yellow uh, plastic on the internet, I came across a really good article that said the way to do it is using a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and oxyclean and sunlight. Having it out in the sun, the UV rays from the sun uh, activate this and somehow uh, change it back. But the way you keep the hydrogen peroxide on the plastic is to mix it with uh, a binder. So I'm using this cornstarch and hydrogen peroxide to mix it into a paste, which I'll put on here. And then once that's on, then I'll put some oxy and have it outside. Then I'll put some oxyclean on it uh, with some, as a liquid and put it on top to activate it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm just mixing it to a paste consistency here. I'm just trying to get it so it will just go on and lay on nice and thick. I kind of mixed it up and poured it out like pancake batter on here. And for people that have never actually used this stuff before, uh, you will be amused at how it um, how it comes out and sets up. It's pretty wild. Uh, you try and move it and it's like a rock. But uh, anyway, you'll figure it out. It just takes a little bit of patience and uh, we're all close. Okay, so I used a spoon and a little bit more hydrogen peroxide and just kind of moved it around until I've got a, a consistency all over. And it's fairly liquid still. Alright, now I'm going to carefully take this out and put it outside the sunlight and I'll add the OxyClean uh, to it. Let it sit. Okay, I've got it outside in the sun. Got a little bowl with some oxyclean and water that I'll now start spooning in there and, uh, and just let it sit all day long and see what happens. Okay, here's the after after the hydrogen peroxide uh, oxyclean. And this is a much lighter color. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but you can even see where it sat and it's, it's almost dappled, uh, almost a white, where it really did work real well. Again, this is the color that it originally was before any kind of fading. And um, this has been, what, three days out in the uh, elements. And it dried off a couple times, so I sprayed it with more hydrogen peroxide. Just squirt bottled on top, but the 
the white stuff was flaking off and actually blowing into the grass. Uh, little flakes, so it wasn't working well there. But just to show you, um, you know, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but this is how dark uh, it was. Which is, uh, so that versus that. So it's significantly lighter in color and uh, successful. Alright, with the uh, plastic title holder strips out of here, I was able to get down to the glass and I'm just cleaning the uh, back side of the glass. It was pretty grody. One thing I want to mention to you, and you can see it very well in this video, but right here on both sides is a piece of double sided tape that used to have a piece of foam on top of it and that was like a cushion um, for where the title strip holder plastic sat up against it and it also kept the light from leaking in from the sides more of an aesthetic thing as well as a little bit of a sound barrier but anyway that this plastic just totally um, disintegrates over time into this little brown stuff and it was everywhere in here and so I took a a shop back and got all of that out first. You cannot peel this off. If you peel this off, it's going to tear some of the paint off as well. It's on the top side. Unless you want to repaint the black on this, uh, you just got to leave this piece on there as is. Give anyway, a little tip for you there. Um, clean this while you got it apart. Uh, a lot of very sharp edges on here, so be very careful or else you're going to be cutting your hands right and left. 